We're talking FD MM2. This is our pocket multi-detector unboxing, folks. Just go ahead, take off the lid. You will find your leads, your multimeter. You will find your batteries, put them on the side, and your user manual, folks. This unit is so simple. Honestly, I feel like just going like that. You don't need the manual. It's so easy to use, but if you do it here, okay, I'm only joking. Let's move on. Now, look, folks, take everything out. Right over here, folks. Now, I will show you something. The batteries are in the back of this ABS rubber case. Take that off. And the battery compartment is right over there. Take your nice Phillips cross screwdriver. Take that off. Bang, just like that. And you first need to obviously pop in the AAA batteries. Go ahead, pop them in. Take your time. You don't have to be as fast as Dr. Cos over here. I'm a little bit impatient, but that's okay. That's okay. I think most people are. Most people are. Okay, pop that in. And then the unit will be ready to fire up, folks. Look, nice. Very nice. Very easy to hold. Okay, let's pop that back into the case. But by the way, you see that, folks? That's the little light. That's your little flashlight over there. Okay, now all you have to do is nice and easy. Press the metal button and bang. It's operating, folks. It's on, it's on auto. It's trying to detect what it's going to be measuring based on its inputs. It's AC voltage, DC voltage, resistance, and continuity. But first and foremost, I like to show off this feature, folks. Hold down the NCV, non-contact voltage. Now get yourself some power. We've got a power lead right here. And look, folks, see that? It can detect live voltage. Live voltage next to a power supply. As you could see right over here, and it's a great little unit to determine if something is live. Right over there, folks. Now, with your leads, just take those, take off the caps at the end, and pop them onto the unit. In CV, I love it, folks. Okay, and it's looking for something to detect. We have our leads, and we are gonna be popping it into a three volt DC voltage. Let's see what we have, folks. Bang. We've popped it in, it's reading exactly three volts, as you could see. And if that's not bright enough, you've got the backlight right there, but you saw that. The button on the back here is for the backlight, okay? It's for the backlight. If you hold it down, it's for the flashlight. I'm gonna hold that down. And you can see the flashlight is on. You see that, folks? Flashlight is on. You see that? That's the way that works, okay? You could hold it down and the flashlight will turn off. It's gone. And it's still reading the voltage. DC voltage, three volts, bang, right on our very nice power supply. Now I'm gonna be popping that into the lead, the uh, main wires over here. Let's see if we get 100, 110 volts or so AC. There we go, folks, 121 volts AC. I've just popped the leads into the main socket over here. And you could see 120-ish voltage coming up from the AC lines over there. Now the last thing, of course, is continuity. Continuity, folks, and that's easy to test. Just pop those together and we see bang, continuity, and working perfect. And that's it folks, look, this is great for the car, for the toolbox, for the garage, for the shed, keeping it with you, as you can see, not a big deal. It's so robust and so so beautiful. Honestly, Dr. Coz is so proud to bring this into his merchandise line. Less than 20 bucks, you can't go wrong folks. Hope you're well, be safe, stay healthy, see you soon.